guys welcome back to my channel i hope you like this video we have something that you will really like today let's get with it all right in the first video which i recommend you watch i promised that i would uh, show you how to uh, uh, mask off part of a uh, pip in caden live and then after masking it off uh, to put a uh, border around it and so uh, this video is as you can see on the lower left corner here uh, there's uh, the border that uh, it's going to look kind of like that when we get done all right so we'll move everything down to the corner and we'll put a put a border around it so let's go ahead and go to uh, Caden live oh no first of all well first of all we'll go to Caden live all right and then we'll close this guy because we don't need him anymore and uh, so this is our this is our uh, main video and we'll bring him down into the layer number one and then we're going to we don't need the audio so we'll remove the uh, undo <laughs> we don't need we got to go ahead and ungroup okay and then we'll remove the audio all right and then the uh, the PIP is going to be um, on this line here and we oh, come on I must be tired I'm doing too many videos in one day so we don't need his audio so we're gonna ungroup and we'll delete the sound here we go all right now we also uh, we're gonna go over about to here and we're gonna cut the front end off of this because it's not very exciting and uh, we'll remove it and we'll bring the fun part to watch in here all right so uh, <clears throat> let's see there we go now we got those two things our pip oh we might as well cut the end off of this too because it just slows everything down right there and remove all right okay so we got everything done that we need to done there have done there but what we need to do in order to make our border we have to go to something like paint or any other uh you know uh editor so we'll go to paint and uh we're going to create a border first of all let me point out that uh you need to resize it to a larger size and of course this is great now what we're going to do is we're going to change change this to pixels pixels and we're going to get rid of the uh, aspect ratio now um, the if you take a, a 1080 uh, by 1960 or whatever it is um, uh, that's that's a good size window but we need to make something that's even about twice that big so from the last video I've already got it typed in here 2400 by 20 2160 and uh, that's pretty much closely to the to the 1080 and and the the 1960 or whatever it is here so we'll just go with that all right so now we'll click on OK and now we've got let's make it look a little bit smaller here okay if we wanted a white border we'd go with the what we've got here but we want a let's make a yellow border today so we'll click on that we'll go over here to the bucket and fill that up okay so we've got that made now we're going to save it and because I've uh, goofed up a couple times we'll save it as a ping and we'll save it as uh, uh, demo 3 we've got demo 2 there so we we could just use demo 2 let's just use demo 2 and uh, we won't worry about creating a new one but that's how you go about creating the new one uh, we won't save it okay now we're going to go into our folders and we want to to get to the uh, this is our working folder here but to get to the um, the demo that we just made we need to go to in my comp on my computer I need to go to videos and then go to titles and then there's my demo there so I'm going to pull him over into the bin and then we can close that all right so <clears throat> now in order to um, we'll just close that in order to uh, put a, a border behind our pip we need to uh, have the border low the border up here below that pip so first thing we'll do is we'll go into this uh, layer and add a new track 
and that will put a track in between the two here. So we'll drag him down, put him here, and we'll pull him on all the way over to the end, and we'll make them about the same length as everything else. Okay, so now when we, uh, you can, uh, oh yeah, okay, so there we go. All right, now then, um, um, let's, by the way, on my computer, if I right click, and you probably have it on your uh, 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 Caden Live, is if you right click and come down to insert an effect, uh, you should see transform there. If you don't see it there, it's up here uh, in the list right there. But this, this method is easier to use. So now we just transformed our, um, our layer, uh, our demo two layer, and we brought them down here. And uh, you can see, let's see, let's do this. Let's just hide the pip for now. Okay, so there's our layer. And what we want to do is we want to get the, get that as, uh, as big as possible. So we'll go ahead and we'll squeeze it over here. And we'll squeeze this over here. Oh, and by the way, we want to turn off, we want to be allowed to distort it. Okay, so now we can just make it go way out here and way out here all right so we've got that done now we're going to go back and uh, we're going to work with our pip okay now whatever you want to have uh showing wherever you want to put it uh you're going to move that to this to, to the part of the screen where you want it and i want these numbers right here as you saw in the demo i want those numbers there down in the lower left hand corner so we're gonna oops what click on the little thing there and we're gonna move it Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Never mind. Let's go back. We'll go to this one. We got to make a. We got to give him a transform. So we'll do that, and uh, now we've got him uh, ready to go. So um, we're going to make him. Well, we'll leave him the same size. Now we're going to move him down into the corner to where he's where we want him to be. All right. We go down. Whoop! That's too far. And so we'll put them right there. All right. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to mask off everything else in the in the PIP. So let's see if we can find mask in here. If it's in effects, uh, image adjustment. OK, it's in al it's in alpha transform and uh, we're going to use the rectangular mask. OK, so we're going to bring that down to uh, our uh, PIP and put it there. Okay, now you notice we got we can c come in from the left and the right and the top and the bottom. So what we're going to do is first of all let's come from let's come from the right just for fun. Okay, so we'll come over here and we keep coming, we keep coming. Pretty soon you see how it's moving in, and we can adjust that with the numbers too. But uh, we'll get it to right. Whoops, too far. Right about there. That's where we want it. Now we have to come down from the top. So we'll start coming down. And whoops, too far. Get back here where I can just barely move it. All right, so we want that to be right about there. Oh, no, back just a ways. Let's make this 900. There, now we got it to where we want it. But you notice how I just clicked on the number and typed, okay? So now we've got the, uh, we've got the part masked off that we want to keep all right so we'll go ahead and we're going to save this before no we don't need to save it for the demo never mind all right so we we can uh quit playing with him and come over here and click on our background all right and there's our movement thing for the background we'll move him down here and we'll just take and grab this guy and grab him down here and bring him way down here and put them right about there. Now, uh, uh, if now the height, the uh, the x y value is uh, what causes is what adjusts the height of the, the the line at the top. So let's go to to the x y's, and that's going to be the y value. So it's at eighteen ninety two. Let's make it eighteen eighty. Okay, uh, one eight eight zero, and press enter. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> we'll undo that. We got to make it like uh, 19. We'll make it 1910. Because we got to go 
we're moving down from the top in pixels. All right, so 1910 is not quite enough. Let's make it 1930. There, now that makes a nice thin line. And then the, the right-hand side, the, uh, the X value, uh, we need to make it go further over by about 10 pixels. So let's make this uh, 45. And that's too much, so let's go back. Let's go back to uh, 40. Let's go 41 or 42. Uh oh, that's that was the wrong thing to do. I typed in. All right, so we need to make that um, minus. Okay, we'll do, 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 do backspace one, and we'll go 40. Okay, now that looks good. We're going to remove the red line and take a look at it. So that looks pretty good. So there is our our um, masked off PIP. Move down into the corner. First you move it, and then you mask it, and then you put the frame on it. So it's not rocket science. It's not that hard. And as long as you've got uh, paint or some other program to edit graphics, well, then you can create your background and like I said we can make it white if we wanted all right so uh, let's see if it plays okay so you can see the numbers are changing those those don't match this video so uh, anyway I like that I like that information in my video so as I go back and review it I can know that uh, uh, I know what things what was going on all right so it's that simple I want to thank you for watching and God bless